You are all weirdos. Weird science is the revolution. Weird science is the revolution. Hello, all you weirdos. Jim here, and here's a little bit of a surprise. Dr. Doom really, really wants to be the Sorcerer Supreme. I know that's probably shocking to you since he's been trying to do it for decades. The big thing, though, is I think he's finally going to get his wish. I think that by the end of July in Blood Hunt number five, he will finally be able to get the title of Sorcerer Supreme, probably leading to a solo book, Dr. Doom, Sorcerer Supreme. And that sounds Pretty darn cool. I can imagine that would be a pretty kick-ass book. But with all of that, again, it's no surprise that Doom wants the title. He's been trying to get it for decades. One of the most well-known stories where he tried to get it was in 1989. Roger Stern and Mike Mignola's Doctor Strange and Doctor Doom Triumph and Torment, where the Vishanti end up having a tournament to see who will be the Sorcerer Supreme. Will Doctor Strange be able to hold the title? Sounds like a wrestling match already. Or will all of these other people trying to get at it, will they win? And one of the people who, surprise, surprise, comes out of the woodwork to challenge and want to compete for the title of Sorcerer Supreme is Doctor Doom. And you have Doctor Strange and Doctor Doom battling it out the whole time. And by the end, Doctor Strange is able to squeak out the win, but Since Dr. Doom ends up being the runner-up, he's allowed to ask a boon from Dr. Strange and ask Steven to go and help get his mother's soul out of hell. It's a really, really good story. One of the first Dr. Strange stories I read when I jumped onto Marvel Comics, and I suggest if you have any interest in either Dr. Strange or Dr. Doom, go check that out. But Since then, he's tried to grab it a bunch of times as well. This is something that he will keep doing over and over. But recently, he's upped his game. And Marvel has upped their game as well, pretty much pushing towards what I think will happen by the end of this month. Because recently, in the Death of Doctor Strange era story thing by Jed McKay, you end up Doctor Strange dies, and Clea takes over as the Sorcerer Supreme. Well, Dr. Doom ends up getting upset about this, and he pays a little visit there to Bleecker Street and says, Hey, I want the Eye of Agamotto. I want the Cloak of Levitation. I want to be Sorcerer Supreme. I deserve it. It should be mine, not yours. And Clea just straight up says, No, no, it's not going to happen. And it's a really badass moment for Clea. And it's funny because Doom kind of like looks at her, and then Clea kind of reveals that she could be a little crazy, could be a little bit of a challenge to Doom. Doom ends up kind of backing off and leaves with a threat. You know, I'll get it. You better beware all that stuff that Doom would say. But again, if you were just jumping into that story, you think that this is yet another hollow threat. Doom isn't going to become Sorcerer Supreme. He's always yelling for it, but he never gets it oh, well, that was kind of cool and really plays off as more of a Clea moment than a Doctor Doom moment. Well, things start to add on to that in 2023's Timeless Number 1, written by Lansing and Kelly. Power Man and the Immortal Moon Knight glimpse into the future. They have a vision of the future, and lo and behold, Doctor Doom is the Sorcerer Supreme. Oh, my goodness, look at him. Doctor Doom, can you imagine? You know, it's it's like one of those mind freak moments. But again, if you're not paying attention to other things, just see this. How many times have we seen these issues where, oh, here's a vision of the future and it's the craziest what ifs ever. They never come to be. And if you question anybody about it, they're like, well, you know, that timey wimey stuff, things can change. Something averted it, all that stuff going on. So you can kind of say that's cool. That's a wow moment. Again, mind freaking. But. Then at the beginning of 2024, Marvel ended up sharing a brief video on its Instagram highlighting what they say are the next big things. And I am putting that in air quotes for you. And that included the screen of Doom as the future Sorcerer Supreme from Timeless. So that is one of the things that they grabbed to put in. This Instagram video that is supposed to be like, hey, 2024 is going to be big. 
here's the next big things. One of them being Dr. Doom, Sorcerer Supreme. So things are going. And that's outside the comics. That's Marvel really just telling us all it's going to happen. Just when is it going to happen seems to be the question at that point. And finally, here in Blood Hunt number four, the last issue that came out of Blood Hunt, Dr. Strange and Clea have to kind of grovel at the feet of Doom and ask him, please, we have a bit of a vampire situation. We have a bit of a dark force situation. At this point, Dr. Strange doesn't even have a body. He's the astral projection deal, so he needs a lot of help here. And they ask Doom, help us, please. We need help. The whole world needs your help. And he says, okay, if you want that help, if you really, really need me, what you're going to have to do is let me be Sorcerer Supreme. And Dr. Strange loses his mind. He, he ends up like with this big, oh, my God, like look on his face. Like, really? Like, you should have a smirk and roll your eyes at that point. Like, all right, for the 800th time, no. And that's the thing. Again, if you are just reading Blood Hunt or you heard a couple things, whatever. It was played out and played out pretty well by Jeb McKay. I'm not loving the Blood Hunt event, but I think this moment was played out pretty well of, oh, of course, he's not going to give him the Sorcerer Supreme title. Oh, what a silly Dr. Doom. He ain't going to get it. But with everything else involved. And as I said, the next big things of 2024, we're getting towards, you know, the second half of this. We're getting towards the latter half of it, including we have solicits up to September. So if it's going to happen and they're not lying about these next big things, it, it's going to happen. And I think it will happen at the end of this month and then have a solo in October. That's what all leads up to it. So, again, it's obvious that Doom should be getting his wish and becoming the Sorcerer Supreme. I really want to know if everybody's down with that. Uh, is this something that you would be excited about? Is this something that you would have as a must buy? I'm assuming that Jed McKay will continue and write the Dr. Doom Sorcerer Supreme book. But if that's not the case, who else would you want to have write it? Who else in the Marvel stable or even somebody that's not at Marvel right now, who would you trust to do that book and do it well? Uh, I hope it's not somebody like a Christopher Cantwell, but maybe that's who you would want. Everybody has their favorites. Everybody has people they don't like their writing. That's fine. But I do think it would be Jed McKay. And I could just imagine, like, just the cover be pretty cool. You know, there's Dr. Doom styling the Cape of Levitation. He's got the Eye of Agamotto. It would be really, really neat. But, again, also, what would you think would happen to Dr. Strange? He still is in the astral projection type deal of himself in Blood Hunt. But they have recently, actually last week, in the Dr. Strange Blood Hunt tie-in, at least got his body back and it's not a vampire anymore. Though that was a little wonky the way it happened So at least he can go back to that Maybe you just end up having him and Clea You know, hanging out Doing, you know, Doctor Strange and Clea things She still has stuff she could do So I want to know what you think of it Are you excited if we do get this book And we get it sooner, not later And what do you think of all of that But also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel Please do See, that's what you say at the end of videos. I think you're supposed to say click this and clack that. But as I said, please let me know what you think of all this. If it does happen, you know, do you think it would be cool? Would it be something you would buy? Is it a day one purchase? All of that stuff. And with all of that, thanks, everyone. And I will talk to you all later. You are all weirdos. Weird science is the revolution. Weird science is the revolution.